Hey Capricorn, it's Ethan Cho here if you're July general reading. This is a general reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. And if you just have Capricorn in your chart a lot, then this reading is for you. I'm a Capricorn rising, so hey Capricorns, I'm kind of one of you guys. That's my rising sign, so I'm very Capricorn. I feel like on my own. And if this doesn't resonate, make sure to check out your other signs. All of them are up besides the earth signs right now. I'm really behind the earth signs as my energy's been off, so I apologize for that. But you guys are the first earth sign. So, cancer season, well, half the month's going to be cancer season, or more than half the month's going to be cancer season, then it'll be Leo season, but during the cancer season part, I feel like for Capricorns, this month is really kind of, like, difficult, because I feel like Capricorns like to work really hard and go, 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 but cancer energy, it's your sister sign, cancer energy is very, like, more, like, refined and, like, reflective energy, it's very watery versus the earthy Capricorn energy, so I feel like during this season, during cancer season, during the cancer season part of July, I feel like it's a lot about reflecting and slowing down, which Capricorns might not be good at. I could be completely wrong. I'm not great at astrology, but that's kind of the vibe intuitively I'm getting for some of you guys. And also, I forgot to say, if you want a personal reading business resonated, go to instantgo.com slash Ethan Tarot to book a reading with me. I have many different options for pretty cheap, so go check it out. It's linked below. Check out my other YouTube channel. I do other types of content. I'm going to start uploading again soon. I've been kind of off uploading because I've been focusing on this channel, but make sure to go subscribe to that. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to this channel also, and comment on this video if this resonated with you. Okay, so I'm just going to pull general cards. I kind of get whatever vibes I get from the reading. So, yeah, I just pull general cards. Sometimes I pull more. It kind of depends. I just go intuitively for now, at least. So, Spirit, please give me a Capricorn July general reading for everyone. Please be accurate. The Emperor card. Ooh, I love that. Eight of Swords. Um, Eight of Wands. Why did I, like, get confused? Four of Swords. Three of Swords. The Five of Cups. I told this is I was right. Like my explanation about Cancer Season was kind of right. So we're starting off with the Emperor energy. So this is very like divine masculine energy. This is Aries energy. This is kind of Capricorn vibes to me too. Like kind of has that energy to it, but like more fiery. So um, I feel like it's boss up energy, and I feel like that's Capricorn. But like Capricorn is less fire. But um, it the, it makes sense. The Emperor card and Capricorn, and then the Eight of Swords. So I feel like there's some type of blockage in your life. It could be work life as it's next to a work type of card. But also the Emperor card is a Divine Masculine card. So it could be something to do with your love life. I feel like your third eye chakra is blocked. But this card is like messages from the universe to me. So I feel like you're kind of blocked off from messages from the universe right now. I don't know why. Maybe you're working too hard. I literally, literally what I explained before. I feel like some of you guys might be working too hard right now. So you're kind of creating a blockage with your, with your third eye. Because you're overworking too much. Uh, what other chakra? I'm not like the best at chakras. I usually just get them intuitively. But I'm hearing... I think root chakra. It could be sacral chakra too. I could be wrong. Let me look it up. I'm just going to look it up. Okay, root chakra. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm looking it up. Yeah, stress and anxiety for root chakra. I'm going to look up sacral chakra. Yeah, they're both kind of stress and anxiety, so it could be that, and that may be actually causing the third eye chakra blockage. So make sure to check up on that because this is really affecting your life. I feel like your career life, you're putting way too much into your career right now. I'm not really getting love vibes. You're putting too much into your career right now. You could be distracting yourself from like a heartbreak right now. It could be that. It could be some type of twin flame situation that's kind of getting you stressed right now. So it's making, so I feel like Capricorns, a lot of Capricorns, not every Capricorn go to work as like a drug almost. For a lot of you guys, you're a workaholic. Not every Capricorn, um, especially, I don't know, but for the Capricorns I'm picking up on, that's kind of the vibe I'm getting right now. So it could be that. But right now you need to do some spiritual reflection. You need to kind of slow down for ca cancer season. Cancer season, yeah. I mean, most of the month is cancer season. There are some Leo season parts of July, but it's mostly cancer season. So I feel like you might need to do some reflection this month, even during the Leo season parts, because there's a lot of like reflection cards. There's a lot of healing that needs to be taking place. So the Four of Swords is like a spiritual type of card to me, because you kind of see like the church wall in the background and like 
this is just spiritual energy to me. So you need to take some time back and reflect spiritually on your life. Like just in general right now. Like there's a lot of healing that needs to be taking place. So the three swords is heartbreak, loss, grief. So it could be a loss also like a family member or just someone you know could have died or something. Because the four swords also could be like a funeral type of card. So it could be that too. It could be different situations for everyone. And the five of cups right now, you're only looking at the hardships in life right now. But there is two cups. There's still two cups behind you. So even if there was some type of loss, there's still stuff there, but you're not seeing that right now because you're going through something right now. Spirit, please give me another card for the Eight of Swords. The Star card. So I feel like something about... There's some type of, like, block spiritually right now. But this is, like, another spiritual card. You're not embracing your spirituality right now. I feel like whoever this is whoever this reading is for or who resonates with it they might be a very logical based thinker and like spirituality might be hard for some of you guys but i feel like you need to embrace that more because it's actually going to help you get on the path of healing because the star card is also healing and spiritual healing spirit please give me another card for the eight of wands <clears throat> sorry like for some reason i'm having issues talking during this reading so it's sometimes when i get stressed like it's hard for me to talk i don't know it's like throat chakra issues or it could be your energy. So maybe it's throat chakra for some of you guys. But I don't really think so as much. It might just be me. So the Six of Cups came up with the Eight of Wands. So... I'm almost getting like a lost vibe. Like someone might have lost a family member or something. Or like a sibling almost. So this is kind of sibling energy to me. Usually this is like a past life soulmate card. But I kind of don't get love energy in this reading. But then again the Emperor card is like a Divine Masculine card. So it could be different for everyone. Someone could have, like, gone through a breakup also. But I feel like you're getting some type of message. If it is someone that, like, died or something that you know, I feel like they might be trying to send you messages for, like, angel times or, like, just any type of messages. However you receive messages from the universe. I feel like they're trying to send you messages and you're kind of blocked off from it because you're going for the loss of it. Um, also, you could be getting signs about a twin flame situation if that's what you're going through. If it's just, like, a twin flame separation type of situation it could be that but i'm getting more towards like the, the loss thing like family member wise spirit please come in the three of swords <clears throat> the knight of pentacles so you can heal the, the healing is possible this month but it's going to be really slow and it's going to take a while it might take till like virgo season or maybe libra season for the healing to take place completely because there's a lot of air so i equate that to libra season that's what i'm getting so there is going to be healing, but it's not, it's, I feel like Capricorns want to like, heal. I feel like Capricorns think really logically, so they don't embrace their emotional side as much as the Knight of Pentacles is you guys, because you're an Earth sign. So I feel like you guys, like, you're more money focused, a lot of you guys, so I feel like you're like, oh, I just want to get back to this so I can like make money again, but you really need to heal. Like, I feel like there might be some other stuff that you've went through in the past that you haven't healed fully also, so it's really affecting you during this grief period right now, like more than it should for someone else that's like already healed from past traumas, if that makes sense. Spirit, please give me a couple of four swords. Mm, the temperance card yeah this is healing this is also a twin flame card so some of you guys are going through a twin flame situation it could be that but like i said this is healing this is kind of like the star card to me this is like spiritual healing almost in balance you guys really need to find balance you need to really reflect and find balance and really heal this time maybe go to therapy um and i feel like this could be the therapist like this sounds really weird but i feel like that you someone needs to listen to you like you need to like express some stuff to like a medical professional the emperor card this could be a therapist also i feel like you might need to go to a therapist because i feel like i don't i feel like capricorns are like i can heal my uh, myself or i can heal myself i don't need someone else but i feel like you guys need to step out of this emperor energy sometimes like you're not the emperor all the time no one's this energy all the time sometimes people need to be vulnerable and heal and stuff and get past the challenges in life so they can be this emperor energy Spirit, please give me another card for the Five of Cups. I really need, I don't have water right now, but I really need a drink of water. I don't know if it's your energy. I really don't know. The Three of Pentacles came up with the Five Cups. Yeah, this is definitely reaching out to people. Reach out to friends, soul connections, like friends. I feel like this is more a business card. So I feel like it's more a therapy energy because this is more a professional card. If it was the Three of Cups, I would say friends or even reach out to your spirit guides more. I mean, you should do that too, but like... This is more like a professional energy. So I feel like you should reach out to like a medical professional that really knows what they're talking about. This is like a depression card. So I feel like reach out to someone, maybe get a diagnosis. Like everyone might be going through different situations. So you might need to go to someone to get a diagnosis so you can talk to someone. Or maybe even get on medication. That might even help you like antidepressants or whatever. Whatever you're going through. Um, it could be anything like that. I'm going to pull some more cards. 
Spirit, please give me some more cards on this situation. Please be accurate. I'm going to see if I have any soda left. I know this is bad to drink, but whatever. Yeah, I have, like, no soda left, but my throat is really dry. Like, I feel like that is saying something for this reading because I feel like there's a lot of needing for emotional healing, and I equate emotional healing with water, and I am, like, I need, like, a drink right now, so I feel like I, it kind of connects. Spirit, please give me some more cards for Capricorn for the month of July. Please be accurate. <laughs> Sorry, like, I literally need a drink really bad. The Hermit card, Page of Wands, the, I was going to say Seven of Swords, the Five of Swords. So the Hermit card is definitely kind of like the Four Swords. You need to go in and heal. I'm getting Virgo season energy again, so I feel like you guys will, this is like a healing process that will continue through Virgo season. Page of Wands, I feel like this is like a Leo energy or just any fire energy. I feel like um, you really need to go get a new perspective with mental health and mental healing. I feel like some of you guys like kind of try to deny your mental health, but you do have some issues that you need to work out. I'm not trying to be mean either. I'm just saying you have some issues you need to work out and you need to change your perspective and maybe try new things to heal yourself because I don't think the other stuff is working for you. Just working isn't just healing for you. I feel like you need to actually go through the like steps to actually heal not just like suppress the hurt and trauma through heal for through work if that makes sense sorry i literally cannot talk during this reading i apologize and then the five of swords i'm kind of confused and that's i'm gonna pull another card spirit please come back for the five of swords the moon card so i feel like this is i don't know I'm kind of getting weird. I'm going to pull another card, to be honest. Spirit, please go. Another card for the moon card. The magician. So I feel like there might be some energies around you right now that aren't the best energies, and they're not about you healing for some reason. Like, it's like hidden energies. Like, I feel like there's, like, people in your life that are manifesting bad for you. Like, I feel like there's, like, secret haters. That sounds really weird. It could be, like... I don't know. It could be, like, friends or something, because the moon card's, like, hidden energy... And the magician I see in this situation as like third or like evil eye, like evil eye can manifest even if they're not trying to like harm you or anything. It can manifest just by them like talking bad about you and stuff. Like I feel like it's really affecting your energy. So you might need to like really check who you surround yourself with right now and who you talk to about some of these issues you're going through. Because there's a lot of negativity around you right now, I feel like. And you just need to be careful who you talk to. It, it could be walking away from some friendships. Is I feel like this is like new beginnings. So I feel like you also have to like go. This could just be a whole separate message for some people, by the way. It doesn't have to resonate. Not all parts have to resonate with everyone. The Hermit card, you really need to figure out this month who is a real friend and who isn't. What's at the top of the deck and bottom of the deck? The Tower card. Yeah, you're really going to find out. This is a Cancer card. You're really going to find out about some people's true attention, intentions this month. And then the world card, this is like the ending of some cycles. And the six of swords is right above it. So you're definitely going to be walking away from some relationships that don't serve you anymore. Maybe some people, you, maybe some, this is weird, but I just got, maybe some people are going for like drug addiction or something. And they're like enablers almost. Even if it's like a workaholic, maybe they're enabling you to continue bad habits. So if it's anything, if you have like a bad habit that's not helping your mental health and helping your healing, you might need to cut out some people because they're not really helping you actually heal. And they're just not good for you. They might not be bad people, but they might be enablers. And it's just not good for you. And it's kind of manifested in your life negatively. So that was your reading. Sorry, I literally couldn't talk during this reading. I don't know why I couldn't. Maybe it's just the energy of the reading. But I hope this resonated. If this resonated, make sure to get a reading from me. And make sure to comment below. Make sure to also like, share, and subscribe. See you guys soon. Peace out, everyone.